Welcome to Tu Nacheki and a special welcome to the African History Series, a series where we look at the great men and women who paved the way for us today. In today's video, we will be looking at the life of Prince Alamayehu, the son of one of Ethiopia's great emperors and heir to the treasures of one of Africa's richest royal dynasties, who died in exile without setting foot in Ethiopia ever again. Before we continue, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Prince Alamayehu, also known as Alamayahu, was an Ethiopian prince born on April 23, 1861, in the city of Ankoba, Ethiopia. His father was Emperor Tewodros II, a prominent ruler who sought to modernize Ethiopia during his reign. When Prince Alamayehu was just seven years old, his father's reign faced a significant challenge. British forces invaded Ethiopia seeking the release of several European hostages held by Emperor Tewodros. You see, what happened was that in an effort to strengthen his empire, the emperor sought an alliance with the British, but his requests were ignored by Queen Victoria, who was angered by this. The emperor detained some British people who were in his kingdom, and this action gave Queen Victoria the excuse she needed to further expand her territory in Africa. She immediately sent a huge military invading force to attack the kingdom. Unfortunately, the emperor's army was overwhelmed, and he was captured and chose to take his own life. History has recorded that the emperor took his own life to deprive the British of the prospect of taking a great emperor hostage. After the emperor's suicide, the British burned and looted the city of Magdala, including its churches. They looted many treasures, including the emperor's crowns, shields, swords, ornamental saddles, goblets, gold crosses, paintings, illustrated Bibles, manuscripts, as well as various other possessions of the Ethiopian royal family. Following his father's capture, Prince Alamayahu became a prisoner of war. Both he and his mother were captured and taken captive. On the way to England, his mother passed away. Prince Alamayehu found himself under the care of a British army soldier named Tristram Speedy. Speedy was appointed guardian of the prince and was in charge of his life. Tristram Speedy took Prince Alamayahu to India first, where he worked as an army officer, and later to England. When he arrived in England, he was sent to Rugby School, one of the oldest independent schools in Britain. After completing his studies in 1878, the prince spent a year at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, which is the British Army officer initial training centre. The British government educated him under the belief that he could one day become a valuable ally for their interests in Africa. Many accounts of the prince's experience at the officer training centre suggest that he was unhappy to be there. In 1879, at the age of 18, Prince Alamayehu contracted pleurisy, a severe respiratory illness. Despite medical care, he succumbed to the illness on November 14, 1879. Although Prince Alamayehu's life was cut short, his legacy endured. His story became a symbol of Ethiopia's struggle for independence and the resilience of its people. The news of his death deeply saddened many Ethiopians, who saw him as a symbol of hope and a potential future leader. Unfortunately, Buckingham Palace has declined an official request to return the remains of this great prince. The Buckingham Palace spokesperson gave the excuse that removing his remains could affect others buried in the catacombs. To date, many Ethiopians desire for his remains to be sent back home and keep pushing for this to be achieved. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts about this great prince in the comments below. Also make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing People of Africa series. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you then.